Hello everyone, this is CY once again. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to just continue with what I've done yesterday, which is to look at uh, how the blind shaker actually affects the quality of the shots. So today I'm going to make it a lot a lot more simpler. Right, I'm just going to pull two shots of espresso on my um, level spring level machines, and then uh, one of them will be um, direct dose from the uh, my Timer Sculptor 70S into a probably into um, a dosing cup, then direct, uh, then to my portal filter. Then I'm just going to do a simple WDT. The second one, I'm going to use this blind shaker, right? And then uh, we're going to pull a shots, two shots, right? Technically, to see how the quality is. So, without further ado, let's get started. So the grinder I'm going to use today is actually the uh, Timo Sculptor 78S and the coffee beans is uh, basically uh, our very popular blend which is uh, the ASK Singapore House blend, the Harmony Elegance. I'm going to dose about 20 grams of coffee. Um, currently the RPM I believe is 800 and uh, grind setting is pretty fine I think it's about 1.2 to 1.3 uh, slow feeding Right, then we're going to transfer directly to the portal filter and before that, um, this is a heat, heat exchanger machine with rotary pump so whenever you want to put espresso, you must also always give a, re give a perch Okay, let's transfer this So WDT Okay, uh, one more step as compared to my other videos I'm, go I'm, I'm going to distribute it And because I don't have auto temper at home So I'm just going to use the uh, calibrator temper Which gives me uh, 30 pounds of force every time Right, I'm not going to use puck screen, um, so I'm just going to directly pull shots from it. Right, so I'm going to bring the camera closer for you to see the extractions. So I'm going to put a scale underneath. Alright, angle looks good. Okay, I can see the sound channeling. Okay, it's definitely channeling. Okay, you can see at the side here it's channeling and it doesn't merge to into one. Oh it's channeling quite a lot by just simply doing a WDT.
Okay, currently I'm extracting about 21, 22 grams. I'm just going to let, let it extract for slightly longer. Once it hit 38 grams, I will pull my cups aside and let it drip continuously. So I'm actually extracting about 39 grams of liquid. So let's place this aside and then we're going to try the coffee from here. Alright, so now let's get uh, ready to prepare the second one. All right, the downside about a spring level machine is you have to ensure that the uh, spring is totally, I mean the level is totally up. Uh, the spring is fully released, otherwise when you uh, unlock your portal filter, it's going to create a big mess. Right, you can hear the release of pressure over there. Right, the part is very dry. Alright, so now let me... Knock out the part. Right, the part knocks out easily, nicely. And then uh, I'm just going to do a rinse. Right, and I'm going to clean up the machine a little bit before I pull the second shot. For the second one, I'm going to dose direct into the dosing cup. Sorry, not dosing cup, the uh, blind shaker. So I'm going to remove the uh, catch cup from the uh, Timo sculptor. And I'm going to di dose direct. Same thing, I'm going to dose 20 grams of coffee. Same grind setting. I'm also still going to do slow feeding. So this is what you see and normally I will push down this and then I'm going to cover right and then I'm just going to start shaking it. And normally I like to give a gentle knock Right, so that to ensure that my cover is clean, then I'm going to just, going, just going to put it over the top of the portal filter. Right, then I'm going to toss it so that I get a even surface. Right, one more step is to distribute it. And then, of course, do a tamping. Same temper, same pressure, same force. Do a perch. Right, let's see the second shot, right? Okay, I'm gonna bring you closer again to see the extractions. aim is still to get about 40 grams of liquid, maybe 39 to 40 grams. I'm going to pre-infuse for a slightly longer time. We can see that the coffee comes out in many different spots.
Okay, it's slowly dripping out. Oh wow. So now I think as you can see for yourself the extraction done on the bottomless ball filter. Okay. You can see the drastic difference here. It's really beautiful shots. There is an empty pocket over here and add to the back, which is at the 12 and 6 o'clock positions. But I'm not getting any channeling, uh, sorry, sorry, I'm not getting any squirting. As compared to the first shot, which, which I do a WDT. So now I'm going to move my scale away. So I'm also extracting about 39 grams of liquid. Right, so I'm going to show you the quality of the espresso. This is blind shaker. This is with just WDT. Right, so now I'm going to taste the espresso and then I'm going to compare the two tastes. So let's taste the espresso. First, let me get a cup of water. Right, I'm, I'm going to taste the first one first, which is the one with just a simple WDT. Very full body, there's no um, acidity. This blend is not supposed to have a sweetness and a reduced acidity. Uh, somehow, the sweetness level is not high. Uh, there's a mild sweetness there. Oh, okay. After second sip, I can taste the acidity at the back, right? Which is probably due to the fact that it is channeling quite a bit. But I would say this is still a drinkable espresso, not something that is bad or not something that's um, astringent. No, there's no astringent acidity. Still a very uh, syrupy, very full body, very well textured kind of coffee. And this is the type of coffee that I'm getting from my Timo Sculptor 70S. Right, so now let's move on to the second espresso, which is from just a blind shaker. Right, so let me just drink a sip of water. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Wow. There's so much difference here. This is a lot sweeter. Wow, the sweetness just pop. I can't imagine the difference is so big. Very sweet, a balance of acidity. The mild, very mild acidity. Uh, compared to the first shot, the acidity here is even lower. Uh, very syrupy, it's very good mouthfeel. Wow, this is really good espresso. Oh my goodness, I'm actually quite mind blown. I didn't even do any WDT and I thought I'm going to get some channeling and uh, I almost um, felt very impulsive to actually do a WDT after I do the blind shaking. So apparently I do not need to do WDT at all, right? So it's uh, still not conclusive. I'm still going to test on different sets of equipment to see whether I'm actually getting similar results. And then uh, this is pretty exciting. Uh, previously, I mentioned that in cafe setting, we do not have time for this. Uh, yes, I still, I still uh, adhere by the principles. It, it, it simply takes too much time for us to prepare all this. But if I'm preparing a single origin espresso for customer who expect high quality espresso, then I think it's worth investing the time uh, doing the blind shaker in a cafe situation uh, for a customer who wants uh, um, who choose to do a single origin espresso. I think that made more sense, right? If the customer is just 
you know, um, I didn't, didn't specify any uh, coffee that they want or any origin that they want. Usually we do from the hopper. And usually we, if we do from the hopper, then we will not do any preparation. Basically just dose, tam, and then extract. So thanks for joining me. I, uh, I hope you like uh, today's content and my new uh, toy here, uh, which is really interesting, very, easy, very, 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 very calming for me to use and uh, seeing the uh, espresso being extracted is simply uh, very mesmerizing. Moment, right? So thanks for joining me. I'll see you again in the next video. Uh, this is CY. Do remember to hit the subscribe button and then I'll see you very soon. Stay safe.